Hey, so, you know, you're doing, you came up with all these great ideas and you've got this great eye for landscaping and you know that I'm putting up a cross and I want to have a little sanctuary so I can have my peace time. Where do you get this vision for you? Were you just born with it or? I, I just love doing it. So I, I do always have a vision, but it's your house. In the end, I have to talk to you first to get the vision that you have before I start having my vision. So I can I can always give it my vision, but without talking to the customer first. Better talk to me first. No. There we go. <laughs> but anyway, here's the, the great thing. Not only is he great at what he does, he has, again, to me, customer service is a big deal. Uh, it's very important to have a graceful in, uh, presence and have integrity. And he's got all of that and more. But what should people know when they're talking to a landscaper that they hire? Because you've been in this business how long? Oh, since I was 15, so. And you're wanna... like 85 now? Yeah, I'm no. <laughs> so about 40, getting close to 40 years of it. Yeah, 40 years. So yes. you're, you've obviously grown throughout the years. Have you ever really, when you first started out, have you made a lot of failures? Yeah, well. Or discoveries? We'll call them a lot discoveries. Of disco a lot of discoveries, a lot of things we were doing 40 years ago that made things harder and um, learning different plants, different plants that we were using 40 years ago aren't good plants anymore because of different sprays and different things that have come in to play here in Florida. So talking about sprays, you're 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 all natural. You don't like to use chemicals. Is cor right? Correct. As much as possible. I wish it was possible to completely do without the poisons, but if you stay vigilant with your non-toxic sprays, you can stay away from using the poisons quite a bit. Um, I like uh, dish soap or Murphy's oil soap mixed with water if, if you're using that every couple of weeks or once a month. So you, not only your furniture, but your plants can have a great shine. That's exactly <laughs> right. That shine is, is healthy. So and soil, I'll tell you what I do want to tell everybody is soil is something Come on over this way, Bob. when you when you want to start talking to people about their landscaping and you want to know if you've got a good landscaper or not. And he's not talking to you about what kind of soil you have and the pH factor. Um, they're really not looking at the most important thing about your plants. So it's really hard for plants to thrive. It's hard for acidic plants to live in alkaline plants, and it's hard for alkaline plants to live in acidic soil. So let, let's talk about that because a lot of people go out and get landscapers, and a lot of people claim to be landscapers. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, yes, and then when they get done, you're like, well, shoot, I could, my kid could have done that. So if you're interviewing a landscaper, um, what, what, is, what are the things, the key points you should look out for? What are the questions that, that you should be asking as a customer and the landscaper should be asking you? Well, what I've learned now is if, the, if other than, you know, at first find out what plants you like, but if the landscaper is not volunte voluntarily coming up with the plants that you should be using and they're taking you to the nursery and just say, pick out whatever you want, you're called a landscaper because you don't know. So if they're telling you, pick out your stuff or just pick out whatever's pretty than you think we should plant, that's kind of a, a, big, a big mark against them in my book because now you're responsible for what plants you picked out when the problems come up. Yeah, you did so, that to me. So I, if they don't have an idea of what plants you should be using. Listen, I bought a bunch of plants and I put them in a circle. And the first thing he looked at me is went, all those plants got to go because they would have overgrown and overtaken the area for what the idea was. You know, these flies, I'll tell you, that's the only thing I got to get used to on a farm, flies. How do you deal with it all day? But he looked at it and he said, remove every one of them. I'll pick the plants out. Um, Short sleeves? Long, long sleeves. sleeves. <laughs> Ex Northeasterner, <laughs> true Floridian. But um, this heat is just a breeze for him. But anyway, I was glad that he was honest with me because he could have just thrown those plants in, made the money, and ran. But he actually said, no, these are going to overgrow, they're going to overtake, and it's not the proper plants for you. Where most people, once again, they if you bought it for 50 bucks, they'll plant it for 50 bucks. You bought it for 25 bucks, they'll plant it. Am I correct on that? That's about right, yeah. So let them buy the plants because they'll probably get a better price. Would you agree on that? Yes, we go buy our our plants wholesale, so then we you'll actually make uh, it'll cost you less money if we buy the plants because we go buy them wholesale and then charge the same price 
And if you bought them, now I've got to charge a, a larger, you bought them retail, and then I've still got to charge the same price. So if I'm hiring a landscaper, and the landscaper is buying their stuff at Home Depot, you probably ended up paying a lot more, and you're yes. probably not going to get as quality than when the landscaper should be picking them out and I, getting I don't want to put down their quality at no, Home no, Depot. No, no, Home, Home Depot is great. I go to the same nurseries that are supplying Home Depot. I have the option to go to that same nursery, so I can buy the same plant at Home Depot. Right. Uh, not maybe not as cheap as Home De Depot buys it, but I'm not marking up to retail. What we're saying is, we're not just picking up. Home Depot is a great store, and you know what? We're just saying if you're buying them at a department store, whether it be Walmart, whether it be any, you know, the supermarket has a little nursery outside. You can get little plants for your herb garden or whatever, but if you're looking to do really good landscaping, you have to talk to your a landscape professional so that they can tell you exactly what's gonna thrive in your area and what's not gonna be poisonous to you and your kids or your animals, because that's the first thing you said, you wiped uh, those names right out of your head. You don't even think of those plants don't because you know the think, harm they can do. Yes, because you don't know what you're looking at and you might forget two or three years from now and be burning something that's Shoot. gonna be knocked. I forget what happened five minutes ago. So <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you get a little bit older. I look smart, but uh, man, I'll tell you, I remember things from long ago. I can tell you what you told me when you first came here, but I can't tell you what you told me about you know, 15, 20 minutes ago. Because uh, your mind gets so preoccupied. But once I give Bob the job, I sit back and I let him do his things. Now, sometimes I'll come out here and be a little dweeb and tell him, hey, you know, what about this? What about this? And he's just like, sit back and be amazed. Although he listens. So I got to give him that credit. Ask lots of questions. <laughs> love an informed customer. The more, the more you know, the more you'll know how, how good of a job I do. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a why guy. I'm like a little kid. Why? 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 And if, why, if not? why not? Why if not? Why not? The landscaper doesn't have an answer to why, he's run away and find a new one.